Welcome back to the channel. This video is on both the geomorphology playlist and looking at plate tectonics and the combination in regards to rift valley formation. And there's two features looking at in particular in a rift valley, which is a graben and a horst. Now these two German words mean peak and ditch and how they form and why they're important. This is the Earth Science Classroom. In plate tectonics, you get the formation of these rift valleys and these basins, these downfaulted depressions, caused by the uplifting of the asthenosphere and the rigid lithosphere is being stretched and broken with extensional motion and forces, creating a depression of basin and rift valleys, either on both sides or on one side. Now, the two areas we're looking at in or focused on, which is the Graben and the Horst, they are to do and linked with the rift valley formation and how the lithospheric plate is going to fracture and fault and move according to the stresses and energy placed upon it during this rift valley formation. So looking in more detail within this rectangle area of the diagram, we'll see that on the sides of the basin, the rift valley is evident based on this jagged, higher elevated relief or terrain on this part of the crust. Now this could be mostly continental, but it could happen on a oceanic floor, which would create a ridge, a mid-ocean ridge. However, on the continents, it's going to cause or form a rift valley. So the Graben and the Horst are all landforms associated with this part of the rift basin or rift valley. So this first tectonic feature, which is going to influence the geomorphology of the landscape in this particular location where the rift valley occurred, is the Graben. Now this is a German word or German word origin, which means ditch. So it's an area of the Earth's surface which has been moved downward to a lower elevation in relative comparison to a area right next to it which is higher so there's going to be a maybe a fault scarp that's visible which is a kind of a sheer cliff section of the terrain which is exposed because of normal faulting and normal faulting normal faults are caused by tensional and extensional forces applied to the crust which is rigid but when you add these forces which are pulling apart the rock based on the extensional forces and the moving away is going to break the rock, cause fractures and fault lines and have one side slip downward, which is a normal fault, which will create this graben and it will create the fault scarp and you'll see this indentation on the terrain. And this can occur either on both sides of the rift valley or it can occur on one side. If it happens on one side, it's called a half graben or the other side is so far away that it's not really part of the same location. But in theory, there'll be two Gravens on either side. But if it's really large, like an ocean basin, like the Atlantic, between North America and Europe or Africa, then the, it'll be called a half Graben. Now, just like a Graben, a Horst is another specific tectonic landscape, which is formed from the Rift Valley, from the normal faults, where one section of the crust in between the normal faults will go down. That will be the Graben and that is the half Graben or full Graben. The Horst is the section of or piece of crust or piece of the Earth's surface which has not been moved down with gravity with the normal faults with the extensional or tensional forces applied but has been squeezed upwards. Now this could be caused by the Graben or the movement of the Graben or the formation of the Graben or just based on the resistance and composition and density of the rock, perhaps. Now, this horse is a German word. The origin comes from peak. So it's a, a smaller section of the Earth's surface, which is higher in elevation in comparison to the Graben or the side of the Rift Valley. So you have the Graben, which is lower, and the horse, which is higher. 
So when we combine these two landscape features, which are common in a rift valley formation and the processes that form a rift valley, which is the tensional forces, the pulling apart of the crust, the stretching of the crust, the thinning of the crust in terms of a continental divergent plate boundary, which is a rift valley, or the opening or juvenile stages of the Wilson cycle, which is the formation of oceans and the closing of ocean basins to form new supercontinents like Pangaea. So these two, Grabens and Horse, are very common in Rift Valley locations and processes where the Graben's going to slide down with the normal faulting and the Horse is going to be squeezed up to form this higher peak in the landscape. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.